All right, now, Israel has barred the entry of two Democratic lawmakers after a push by President Donald Trump to do so. Ilhan Omar and Rashida Taleb were due to visit the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem next week. And both the Congress women have supported the boycott movement against Israel. Now, the American Democrat Ilhan Omar has called Israel's decision to ban her from visiting the country as a chilling response. Now, in a strongly worded statement, Ilhan Omar has said, and I quote her here, it is an affront that the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, under pressure from President Donald Trump, will be denying entry to representatives of the U.S. government. The irony of the only democracy in the Middle East making such a decision is that it is both an insult to democratic values and also a chilling response to a visit by government officials from an allied nation. Now, her fellow Congress member has also echoed similar sentiments. And so I'm going to continue to fight back um, and uh, demand that they provide access uh, for me and any, any of my colleagues to come to Israel, um, into the Palestinian areas, and, and be able to listen to hear people. Um, but yeah, it's a really disservice to all of us that want to see peace there. I don't know what to tell you. This is a country that has just made a, a huge error, I believe, and they're going to probably have to pay the cost of it. A number of my colleagues are very much taken aback by this. Very but also the Israeli officials have said that the pair, the first Muslim women to serve in the U.S. Congress, were barred because they support a boycott of the country over its treatment of the Palestinians. Now, U.S. President Donald Trump has defended Israel's decision. Well, I'm only involved from the standpoint of uh, they are very anti-Jewish and they're very anti-Israel. I think it's disgraceful, the things they've said. You have lists of, uh, this isn't just... A one-line mistake. What they've said about Israel and Jewish people is a horrible thing, and they've become the face of the Democrat Party. So uh, I did absolutely put out a very strong statement. I think if you look at their language, if you look at what they've said, if I ever said it, it would be uh, it would be a horrible it would be a horrible month, to put it mildly. So the things that they've said, uh, Omar, Talib. What they've said is uh, disgraceful. So I can't imagine why Israel would let them in. But if they want to let them in, they can. But I can't imagine why they would do it. Now, Israel's decision, of course, comes after intervention by the man that we heard speak a little while back, Donald Trump, who also took to Twitter saying that it, of course, shows great weakness if the pair would be allowed entry into Israel. Trump said, and I quote, to show great weakness if Israel allows Representative Omar and Representative Taleb to visit. They hate Israel and all Jewish people, and there is nothing that can be said or done to change their minds. Minnesota and Michigan will have a hard time putting them back in office. They are a disgrace. Now, the U.S. president last month had also targeted Omar, Taleb, and two other Democratic congresswomen of color with racist, racist attacks, saying that the four politicians should go back to where they came from. Meanwhile, a Palestinian leader has called the decision as an attempt to stop the world from seeing the quote-unquote cruel and oppressive nature of the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Whether it is fear of their opinions or whether it is rejection of their uh, religion, ethnicity or color or even gender, we don't know. But it is very clear that it is a sign of weakness that they refuse to allow them to come in, not as Trump said, if you allow them to come in, it is weakness. Weakness is inability to deal with dissent, inability to deal with disagreements, and of course an attempt at imposing a complete shutdown on the heart.